everyone, it's JJ and Chloe from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. And we are back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, the series where we answer the questions that you leave us in the comments section of our videos. But today it's gonna be extra special because we're also gonna be highlighting 2021. Yeah, yeah. what's your favorite highlights? My highlight in 2021. Um, I think my highlight was um, having you on the channel. It's like you started it in 2021. Yeah. Chloe, everyone. <laughs> what about you? What was your highlight for 2021? Um, my highlight uh, would definitely be us trying a lot of things about creativity in 2021. It's been a lot of challenges, but hope you guys liked all of those um, inspiration that we gave you. And also, we hit 600k in 2021. Yeah, we did. We did hit 600k. And we did a lot of videos, considering, I mean, we are technically in a global pandemic, but we try to make it fun. So hopefully you guys liked our videos in 2021. But let's get into our questions with the YouTube bread bag. The questions are all inside here. Oh, first question um, from Pretty Lucky. Um, where's Elliot? <laughs> where's Elliot? Well, Elliot is actually still on our team. He's just doing more behind the scenes stuff. So while he may not be on camera, he's still working with us somewhere. <laughs> question. Next question. Okay, this is from LE114 Mohammed Saif Udin. How to copy any text from one project to another project? So, do you know how to do that? Yeah, we can do it pretty easily by saving as a preset. Let's go show, show them how to do it? Yeah, let's go. In Filmora, we can save customized titles as presets and use them in new projects. I'm going to drag and drop this basic title to the timeline. Customize the font, effects, and scale settings. Then I'm going to save it as a preset by clicking on the Save as Custom button here. Now when we open a new project, we can find the preset in the title menu in the custom section. Hopefully that was helpful. Next question. So this question is, ooh, this is a long name. Granchko Kadyovsky. Drop me a link to buy Filmora 10. There are many websites selling fraud stuff. Uh, I want to make sure I buy the right thing. That is very true, and if you want a link for that, we're going to put it in the link in the description box below. Once you land on our official page at filmora.wondershare.com, from the top menu, select product and choose the Filmora with the correct operating system that you are using. And that's where you can download the trial version or purchase a Wondershare Filmora license. Next. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this question is from this baker, if I said it right. Um, <laughs> Please make cinematic tutorials. Well, uh, we have a lot of kind of tutorials. So um, what specific tutorials do you want to see? Drop it in the comments and we will try to make it in 2022. Yeah, if there's something specific you want to learn, let us know, because that'd be awesome. Um, we do have some tutorials that we've done in the past about cinematic um, styles. So go ahead and check those out in the link below. But if there's something that you want to see specifically, let us know. Thanks for your question. Okay. So this next question is from, ooh, it's ripped, sorry. This question is from Prince. Ooh, are you a real Prince? <laughs> wow. Um, thank you so much, your video is awesome. Aw, thank you. Um, thank you for all your support to Prince as well as to everyone out there who's watching right now and who has subscribed to our channel. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you do so because we do make awesome videos. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this question is from Kill Wu. Thanks for sending us the question. Um, the question is, <laughs> JJ and Chloe, mm -hmm. what are your favorite videos that you like to make? Also, who are some people that you like to follow on YouTube that maybe we have never heard of before? Oh, okay, great question. Thanks for asking. I really like making short stories because, you know, it's really fun to tell stories in different kind of ways. And editing them can be really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for YouTubers, I don't have anyone who people don't really know, <laughs> but I would say Peter McKinnon is a really good inspiration. Yeah. You check him out, of course, you would know him. <laughs> he's a great, if you don't already know him, yeah. his videos are really, really great. And he's really fun to watch. Yeah. Um, don't have any specific style of videos. Um, I like making vi like fun videos of my cat. <laughs> I guess like short form content, like social media content. That's what I like making. Um, and somebody who I like to watch that may not, I don't really know. I don't really watch anyone specific. I just like to watch a lot of BTS videos. 
BTS fans. <laughs> BTS videos. So if you're an ARMY and you like watching BTS videos too and you have a really good one, send it my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Send them in. Drop in the comments. Drop in the comments. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Next. This question is from Emerald Roland. How to remove background noise in Filmora 10? Well, you can have definitely do that. You can remove background noise in Filmora 10, and we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do it right now. Drag and drop the media clip into the timeline. Right click on the clip and select Adjust Audio. Go to the top left setting window and find the Remove Background Noise option. Click it to activate it. You can now adjust the levels of the background noise by selecting Weak, Mid, and Strong. All right, let's go to the next question. Okay. So this question is from Compilation Fun. Ooh. Please make a video tutorial on double exposure video. Oh, okay. Do we have a video on double exposure already? We did one in the beginning of this year, if I remember correct. Oh. So it's a very detailed video about how to make double exposure. Um, we're gonna drop it in the description. Make sure you click the link and see the tutorials. All oh. right, next question. <laughs> oh, it's a long one. Okay. So this question comes from Caleb Hopkins. When deleting a video, the other videos now snap together. Before, they used to leave a gap, and I found that easier to use. Okay. Why did that feature get changed? Mm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and check out how do we do that. We should be able to fix it by turning off the auto ripple feature from the top left corner of the timeline. And let's check out how it works. Okay. Um, and here we go. Oh, it's the last question. Okay. So this one, it comes from Hiroko underscore 27. Actually, it's X Hiroko underscore 27 X. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Um, when is speed keyframes coming to Filmora? <gasps> Ooh, good question. Interesting question. And my answer is stay tuned next year. All right, and that is all of our questions for today. Yay. Thank you so much everyone for watching and for all of your questions. This year has been kind of crazy, but whether you're a new user or you've been with us since the beginning of the year or the beginning of this channel, we want to thank you guys so much for being a part of this awesome community and for your support in 2021. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you in 2022 with more creativity and motivation. So happy new year and keep creating. Keep <laughs> I swear by the moon and the stars <laughs> in the sky. <laughs>